All right, let's factor the equation x squared minus 11x plus 28 equals zero. So we start with a skeleton equation. This is our skeleton equation here. And then we're gonna add the signs into the skeleton equation. So we have a negative term in the middle. If the middle term here is negative, so the center term is negative, we put negative signs in our skeleton like this. Next, we wanna find the factors for the last term, this 28, and they should add up to the middle term. So let's write the factors for 28. And I can see that four times seven, that's 28. Four plus seven, that gives me 11. So I'm gonna put a four here, a seven here, and we're done. We factored the equation x squared minus 11x plus 28. But we should check our work with the FOIL method. We'll multiply the first, the outside, the inside, and the last terms we end up with. And if we add the negative 7x and the negative 4x together, we get, and this is what we've started with. So we did this part correctly. Let's find the values for x that when we put them in the equation here, it'll make this whole side zero. Zero equals zero, that's a true statement. So we could say x minus four equals zero, x would equal four, x minus seven equals zero, x equals seven. So if you put four in for x and you did the math, this would all end up equaling zero. Likewise, if you put seven in for x and did the math, all of this would equal zero. So we did this part correctly. If you use the quadratic equation, these are the exact numbers you'd end up with as well. This is Dr. B factoring the equation x squared minus 11x plus 28. Thanks for watching.